Hello everyone and welcome back to Atari Vault. We're going to be playing Casino today. Um, we basically already played this. I mean, we haven't played for a second there. My brain. My brain. Read that as strip poker. No, no. Stud poker. Um, we played a piece of this. We played Blackjack as a standalone game. For some reason, they decided to fold it into this one. Unclear how that works. Not sure when this game came out as opposed to when Blackjack came out. Um, do we need to even look at the manual? Is there a backstory? It'd be hilarious if there was a backstory. There is no backstory. I was kind of hoping for like James Bond needs to play Baccarat type of thing, but no such luck. All right, number cards, face value cards. I mean, that's pretty obvious, right? And they actually have sweets this time. Um, yeah, okay, so you can tell the spades. Um, you can tell the spades apart from the uh, the other ones that I can't remember what they are. Oh my god. Just jumped out of my head. I don't know. The thing is, I hardly ever play with cards. And when I do, they have other stuff on them. Um, it's never like spades and hearts. It's usually like, I don't know. Um, I want to say DC or Marvel. <laughs> That's totally not what it is. I've never played a DC Marvel deck. That'd be awesome, though. They should totally do that. Um, but you know what I mean. I hardly ever play with a regular deck of cards. Um, yeah, so hit or stay for Blackjack. We already know how to do that from the other Blackjack game. Um, stud Poker, which, okay. I mean, we could do that. Interesting. How would that work? That's got to be only single player, right? There's no way that works in multiplayer. Because everyone would be able to see your cards. Game reset, difficulty... Yeah, it's got to be single player only. Okay. And then Poker Solitaire? What? Cards for one at a time on top of the screen. You must select a matrix position for each card. After you fill each matrix position, you will have 12 poker hands worth of points. Um, I don't understand what Poker Solitaire is. I've never played Poker Solitaire by myself. No, no, it says game three is stud poker for one to four players. Oh, players compete against the computer dealer, not against themselves or against each other. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. So then it's more of a strategic team game. Okay, okay, I kind of get that. It's weird, but I get it. Uh, controller action, okay. Let's go ahead and jump in. Obviously, we're going to play blackjack first. Um, excuse me, I like the controls, please. Blackjack splitting. Oh, you can actually split in this game. Well, that makes it better than the other Blackjack game. That's weird. Why would you do that? Um, game reset doesn't seem to be working. Casino 1 or Casino 2. We're going to shuffle after every hand because that's just... That stops card, card cutting, counting. Game reset is not working. What about if I use the mouse? Game reset is not working. Use the back button? Okay, that worked. I'd like to like to play, please. Um, sure, out of a thousand, I will totally bet 120. I get an eight. And a nine? Um, it says double. I'd... Oh, okay. So, eight and a nine, 17? Do we stay on a 17? Where are my controls? I don't want you to hit me. No, 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 no. Don't hit me. I want to stay. Excuse me. I like to. I like to stay. I can't. Okay. There we go. I'm using the mouse. <laughs> we could push, and I think that makes it split. Oh, push means bet again. With him at 18, I'm guessing he's closer. So there's no way I'm pushing a larger bet. I guess 20 is the best I could do there. Oh, 20 is the next bet. Okay. Because he got higher than me. Okay, so now we have 12. Yeah, she should definitely hit me. Um, 19. No, we'll stay here. And I lose. Okay. Sure, bet 200 this time. What the hell? So, 6 and 7, 13. No, you gotta hit me on 13. 16. Hit me again. Oh, big bust. How am I still in this? Oh, no, they just showed it. Okay. That was weird. I just bet 20 that time, apparently. 
Jack and a four. 14? Yeah, hit me. 18. No, I gotta stay on an 18. You got a 20? Excuse me? Okay, you know what? 200. Sure, what the hell? 4 and 7. Thir uh, that's... Yeah, that's 13, right? No, it's 11. What the hell am I saying? Hit. Um, That's 21. I mean, I guess I could... If I could do anything else other than hit and stay, I'd like to be able to split. No, huh? Okay, stay. Yeah, first time I think we've won. Um, Alright, so this is just blackjack. They're not letting me split for some reason. I'd like to be able to split this, please. How do I... Oh, there we go. There we go. Um, no. Obol didn't seem to actually split it. So, okay, we'll just go ahead and bet 200. We're going to lose a lot easier than we did before. We're at 15. Um, Obol. What the hell is Obol? Is it not double? Double my bet? And I bust it out. Okay, double means double your bet. Well, yeah, I got 25. I mean, let's bet everything. Bet the whole pot. 8 and 3, 12? I mean, we're going to hit on 12, right? 16? It's a risk, but I'm going to hit on 16. Oh, big bust. Okay, now we're just done. Okay. Decent. Or horrible, depending how you want to look at that. Okay, stud poker. I mean, stud poker up to four players, I guess. Sure? Casino 2, shuffle every hand, yeah. Okay, yeah, that doesn't work. Okay. Um, I'd like to play stud poker, please. You're going to make me play blackjack again? Oh, no, no, this is that. This is poker, isn't it? Because we can fold or we can bet. Um, well, assuming I'm the bottom one, well, why would I assume that? I can't see my other card. Okay, then that means four and ace. Does that mean that in blackjack I was the top one? That'd be embarrassing if that was true. Um, all right, so four and ace. I mean, sure, we bet high then, right? Because we have an ace. Um, and we don't have any. Well, I guess we have a four. We have a two. We have a pair with the fours. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fold. We're not going to fold. I just want to bet, like, really low. 120, then. Um, hmm. Okay, keep going. All we have is a pair, but that's better than what he has, unless there's something magical on that last card. Oh, no, we lose. Okay, so that we must be on the bottom one. Why can't we see our last card? That is weird. That is very, very weird. Um, all right, let's 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 try that again. Assuming we're at the bottom, we don't know what our last card is, then they have a pair and we don't know. Um, if we don't know, let's go big, man. Go big or home, I'll go home. Aces and eights, I mean, that'd be ideal, right? That's a dead man's hand. That's a king. I don't think we're going to do anything with this. Yeah, bet it all, man. Yeah, lose. That's that's not surprising. Yeah, obviously he gets his his um, double or his pair there. All right, two hundred seven. This is a very weird game. You know what? I should probably read the instructions better. Yeah, I'm losing like crazy here. Okay, you know what? We are totally gonna read the instructions. I can't get the instructions. Power off. Main menu. We gotta look at this better, right? Because there's no way. There's no way. <laughs> Basically, is what I'm coming down to. There's no way. Um, so, stud poker. Game three is one to four players, which right now are just one. It deals five players to each card and five players to itself. Before the fifth card is dealt and after the second, third, and fourth and fifth cards are dealt, players must place belt, bets or fold. Object is to beat the dealer's five card hands. Okay, that's, that's all the hands available, yes. The problem I have right now is I don't know which one's me. Which one's me? <laughs> am I in the top or am I in the bottom? Um, it doesn't say. It doesn't say which one's me. I 
think I'm the bottom one. But that doesn't make any sense that I can't see my cards. Or all of my cards. And it doesn't explain it. It doesn't explain it. I think... I think... That I'm... The bottom one. But doesn't say. Just says deals five players to itself. It would make more sense... Well, no. Okay, I had to be the bottom one. Because otherwise we would win with a pair, right? So why can we see all the computer's cards but we can't see all of our cards? It's very strange. Obviously we're gonna resume until I figure this damn thing out. All right. Um, game reset. Let's do this. Hit me again. Thousand points. I don't even care. Um, hundred. Still works for me. Okay. So he has a jack and a three. He has diddly and squat all combined. Rock and a fold. One ten bet. Oh, we have nothing. We have nothing right now. Six and a two is not going to help us either. I mean, he has an ace, a 10, and a jack. But he might not have anything either. I mean, ace is high, so he still wins. And a nine. We have nothing. Fold. I mean, there's no way. There's there's no way. We'll bet 60 this time. Okay. Ace is high. We at least win this one. Queen. We still have nothing. Oh, oh, oh. Pair. Pair. Bet as high as you can. High as you can. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we are at the bottom one. He had nothing. As far as I can tell. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, he's missing a nine. Otherwise, it would have been a flush. Yeah, if that 10 had been a 9 or a 4, we would have been in trouble. Okay, but we're still totally fine. Let's do it again. Okay, we both got 6s. Um, I'm going to no, not fold, just low bet. 6 and 4. Um, that's weird. 6, 7, and 4. We have a 5 in the hidden card, maybe? Maybe? Um, he has king high. No. Why throw why throw bad money after good, right? Or good money after bad. One of those. Yeah. Yeah, that was worth it. Okay, do it again. This time a 10 bet. Okay. Both got a 3. Oh, I folded. Oh, I didn't mean to fold. Okay, start over. Okay. He has 5 and 10. Already is in a better spot than we are. Our 4 card. Okay, Jack. Jack high. It's better than what he has. Um, Though now he has a pair. Well, that's problematic. King high is the best we got. We don't have... I mean, unless we have something. Nope. Nothing at all. He had a pair of nines. That's good enough. All right. King high. Better than what he has. King and nine. King, queen, and nine. If we have a ten, if we work at a jack in there somewhere, I mean, that's wishful thinking, right? Ha! <laughs> There's a ten. Okay. If that's a jack, I'm going to bet super high just because I'm going to cross my fingers that's a jack. No, but it's a six. Okay. Well... It was worth a shot. It could have been a royal flush. You never know. Could have happened. Probably statistically very unlikely. Uh, we'll do go on to 110. King and 10 is okay. Has potential. King 10 and 4 has far less potential. Oh, pair of 4s, but he has a pair of 9s. He beats us out. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, hit me again. Uh, bet 50 this time. Okay, 10 high, um, but he also has a 10 high, so that doesn't help. Oh, we have a pair of 10s. Go hard. Go super hard. There's no way. 9, 10, jack, queen, but he needs a king. He said he has a 4, so that doesn't work for him at all. We're good. Yep, we win. Okay. Sometimes it just takes a pair, man. All right. 
two and four. Eh, whatever. Oh, I folded. You never fold before you get your third card. Come on. What was I thinking? Okay, 90 this time. Alright. Oh, waist high. That's not a good sign. Um, still not a good sign. Try to decrease the bet a little bit. I totally went in too hard there. 10 and jack. He has a pair of sixes. I don't know what my other card is, but I, I doubt it's anything good. Oh, the we have a pair of jacks. We totally have a pair of jacks. Bet as high as you can. There you go. We're actually making money. So it's actually hard to believe. Okay. Sevens. Seven high is not going to do much. I bet 120. Uh, <laughs> now it's 10 high on his side. I have nothing so far. Oh, pair of fours. It's better than what he has. So yeah, go hard. There you go. Well, being able to see his cards makes this very, very simple, right? I mean, is there a mode where I can not see the computer's cards? That seems like that would be more realistic. I mean, it's weird. You can't see your own cards, but you can see all of the computer's cards. That would never happen in any kind of poker game. So it makes it it makes it weird. It makes it very, very weird. Let's do Poker Solitaire just because I don't know what else to... Yeah. Poker Solitaire. Let's do it. Um, sure, we'll move the 10 over there. I don't, I don't even know what you're doing now. Can't move the 5 there. Okay. Can't move the 5. We can move the 5 anywhere we like. Okay. The 5 over here. Is this like regular Solitaire where you have to put the Ace first and then count? Is that how this works? Okay, Queen can move over here, whatever. Nine, can I move that over here? Or does it have to be alternate colors? Okay, seven, we don't have a place to put the seven. Two. Um, which won't work because the ace is the wrong color. Three, we don't have a four, so no. Five, no, that, that stays where it is. Nine, we don't have a ten of the right color. Queen, we have a king of the right color. Jack, there we go. Put the jack on top of the queen. No. Jack on top of the ten. Are we going back? No. Jack on top of that queen? Um, it's not letting me do anything. Oh, do we need to make suits? Or, um, or hands? Maybe we need to make hands. It is poker solitaire. It's like a pair. No, that doesn't work. I have no idea. Okay, does it explain Poker Solitaire? I would like it to explain Poker Solitaire, please. The manual will probably explain it. Unless I just totally don't get it. The matrix on the screen has five rows and five columns, green 25 card positions. Cards appear one at a time at the top of the screen. You must select a matrix position for each card. After you fill each major position, you will have 12 poker hands worth of points. Okay, a flashing cursor appears on the screen at all times. You can move the cursor by turning your controller knob or moving your mouse. Put this card in a particular matrix position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you have to fill the matrix. And then you get 12 poker hands worth of points. So you try to arrange these so that they're hands in poker. Okay... Okay, I think I get that. So then we go back here. Can I go back in, please? I'd like to go back in, please. There we go. So we go back here. I've totally screwed this up for us then. Because if we had any of these hands, we'd be fucked. So at least we can get a pair, right? Get a pair by putting it, like, here. Oh, no, no, no. No, it goes the other way. It goes crossways per hand. Oh, yeah, then I've totally messed this up. Okay, then let's start start over. Can we start over? Game reset, please. And then go back in. Okay. So to place these as we would want them to appear in an ideal game of poker. Okay, so king. I mean, ideally, we'd want a king by itself. Four, we can get a pair of fours. Okay. A five, and we get pairs of four and a pair of five. Two pairs, good. Um, king and a ten would be nice. Um, 
king 10 queen jack or jack queen or jack 10 whatever six um put six over here two we don't want the twos with anything right i mean i guess we could do three pair four four five five two i mean that's a leftover card okay sure why not two kings and we do two kings we do that on another hand though there's a king there three um we're gonna want the three probably in the other hand eight um let's put the eight here and I have another eight here six there's another six that we want right there right right there nine um let's put nine down here sixes yeah sure let's do a let's do a trip man seven seven's a bad card i don't want a seven at all two okay we have a two where do we have a two? Oh, we have a two up here not quite the two pair i was looking for but i'll take it queen well there's my ideal hand right there four uh shazbot i don't want the four i guess we can move the four here ten uh okay we have a pair of tens but that's not ideal how about we put that and we don't have anything down here it's a little late to do anything there now is there two i don't want the two either two is a bad hand um put it there that's not a great place for it ace um also not a good place for this um I'm doing badly at this. Put the ace here. Two again. Okay, well, we got a two pair then. Jack. Okay, well, there's our lucky Jack. Oh, you know what? If I had put the nine in the right place, we would totally have had. Or the ace in the right place, for that matter. I should have put it there. You know what? We can do two queens. It's almost a flush. We got 130 points. That probably could have been a lot better. But okay, now I get how to play. Um, I don't know how it scores, but I got to play. All right. So that was interesting. I've never played poker or solitaire before, but that's an interesting idea. You step up matrix. That seems like an interesting game you play yourself. You have to decide how you score, but that's a good way to learn um, what the various hands are in poker that could win. Okay. I appreciate learning new things. Um, that's going to do it, though. I am totally done with this game. Thank you guys for watching. This has been, what is this, Casino? This is totally Casino. All right. Yeah, thank you guys for watching Casino. This is Atari Vault. I'm PC Universe. You're PC Universe 2. And I'll see you guys next time.